We know how great Caitlin Clark is. We truly know that. And so this is a place where Caitlin Clark fans and Iowa Hawkeye fans can feel like they're in a safe zone. Because over here, you can talk about Caitlin Clark as much as your heart desires. You can talk about the Hawkeyes players as much as your heart desires. This is your friendly neighborhood Iowa man, RC. What's going on, guys? If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And then you're rocking with Club Caitlin. All threes on her. All drinks on me. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have to dive in really quickly because I don't want to keep you guys very long. But we got to talk about something. What more must Caitlin Clark do to pull in the audiences that are detractors, haters? The critics who over criticize. I mean, obviously, Iowa fans, we know just how great Caitlin is. Caitlin Clark fans, Clarkies is self explanatory. But it's a big group of people that say Caitlin Clark doesn't play any defense. And she plays some defense. I'm going some. A lot of people say I'm biased. A lot of people may not like me because they feel I'm too biased. Like, they feel I'm over the top with the Caitlin Clark love. It's my channel. I'm going to run it how I see fit. She's my favorite player. I'm going to talk my stuff. You do talk your stuff, right? If you're a content creator, you're going to talk about who you love. This ain't intended at nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, because maybe I'm on too many social media platforms. The backlash is, it gets ridiculous. It's, well, I ain't going to cuss, because we, we've been sticking to a no cuss zone for the most part. But um, I don't know. The hatred sometimes is is overwhelming. The love is real, though. You know, the love the love is real. Some people are authentic, and some people I'm not looking to bash anybody. And some people just they just speaking their truth how they feel. I don't have a problem with you saying Caitlin Clark should perhaps be paying playing more defense. I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, I just have a problem with the people that don't like the love she's getting. She's earned that the media exposure she's earned the right her game is saucy she's earned the right to be to be looked at to be you know marveled at to be you know for people to be dazzled when they see her performances you know um and she's just taking a basketball world um by storm by hurricane by, by i can't say the word to um um if i said it right <laughs> but She's take Caitlin's taking a whole basket women's basketball world by by a blizzard, and people just don't like it. And I don't know if it's because these are fans that are stuck in their ways. Again, I don't have any problem against people saying that she could get better at defense, you know. But the thing I have a problem with is every time somebody plays Caitlin Clark, they want to see Caitlin Clark lose. Again, we don't have to get messy, so we're not going to. But I've learned something along the way in my time of being a women's basketball fan, which dates back two decades or more. I've learned as I've gone that when you're hating on another team, karma could come around and, and bite your team. So don't be hating on the next team because you can get humbled. And South Carolina was very humble last season by Caitlin Clark. So for once in your lives, give up some love to Caitlin Clark. What's she got to do? Drop 50, 60? What more must she do? I mean, she's proven to take one school, one university, and elevate it higher. No disrespect to any of the other greats that have worn a Hawkeyes jersey because there are greats that have worn Hawkeyes jerseys but she's elevated the program the university the game of women's basketball she's got people watching basketball nieces mothers grandmas aunties uncles small babies enamored blown away by Caitlin Clark they absolutely love her love her and like tip your cap at least tip your cap 
I mean, there's players that I that I don't necessarily favor, but I'm tipping my cap, and I've come around. I've truly come a long way as a basketball fan by liking players that I may not personally like. You know, I will never be a South Carolina Gamecocks fan. That seems that seems to be the thing to do. I will never be an LSU fan. That had seemed like the thing to do. I'm always going to rock with my team. I'm not going to switch up. It's Bruins and Hawkeyes, and that's just what it is. And I'm always going to rock with Caitlin Clark on no matter what level. So I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. If you want to be the kind of person that takes things personally, you go ahead. But I don't get the reason for knocking Caitlin Clark. We do not win that game yesterday without her. You guys don't understand the value of what she means to this team, what she has meant to this team. And it's nothing against Paige. But now you guys are like, Paige, please get her. Take her down, Paige. LSU was supposed to take her down. They didn't get it done. Paige, can you do it? West Virginia, they were supposed to take down Caitlin. Print, who, not Princeton. People were even probably even secretly in their wildest dreams, hoping that Holy Cross would beat us. Hey, again, this video ain't personal. Promise you it's not personal. But damn it, I got to speak what I feel. And maybe I need to check a box when it comes to social media and not spend so much time looking at social media because comments be ticking me off. Um, but I never see people over here talking it because I'm cool. I'm nice. I'm cool as a fan in the middle of December. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go for, like, a whole lot of Caitlin Clark hate. I'm just not. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with you disagreeing. We can, re we can, we can respectfully disagree. But, yo, at the end of the day, Clark's goaded. Whether she gets a ring or not. And that's just my opinion. You know, it's my channel. If you rock with me, you rock with me, whether you're a Hawkeyes fan or not. I got love for everybody, but I'm going to speak my piece, even if it hurts, even if it hurts me and my channel. I'm going to speak my piece. And with that being said, peace. Go Hawks, no matter what.